This video will introduce you to the density formula and show you how to change it to the form you need for a particular question. Density is defined as mass per unit volume. Mass and volume are both extrinsic properties. Their values depend on the quantity of the substance you have. For example, one penny has a mass of 2.35 grams and a volume of 0.413 centimeters cubed, while two pennies have a total mass of 4.7 grams and a total volume of 0.816 centimeters cubed. If we calculate the density of the metal pennies are made from using one penny, density equals mass divided by volume, which is 2.35 grams divided by 0.413 centimeters cubed, which works out to 5.69 grams per centimeter cubed. If we were to calculate the density of the metal pennies are made from using two pennies, Density equals mass divided by volume, which is 4.7 grams divided by 0.826 centimeters cubed, which again works out to 5.69 grams per centimeter cubed. The mass and the volume have both doubled, but the density remains the same. The formula for density is given by the equation D equals M over V, where D is the density, M is the mass, and V is the volume. The units for these can vary. Mass is commonly expressed in grams, kilograms, or milligrams, while volume is commonly expressed in centimeters cubed, meters cubed, milliliters, or liters. The unit for density is usually a mass unit over a volume unit. The most common density units are grams per centimeter cubed, grams per milliliter, and kilograms per meter cubed, also known as kilograms per cubic meter. The density equation can also be arranged to solve for mass or volume. Of course, density is equal to m over v. Cross multiplying gives m equals d times v. And solving for v gives v equals m over d. A mnemonic is a tool to help us remember something. A useful mnemonic for density is a circle with an m on top and a d and v on the bottom. To find the equation for each variable, just put your hand on it and see how the others are arranged. To solve for density, put your hand on the D. So D equals M over V. To solve for mass, put your hand on the M. So M equals D times V. And to solve for volume, put your hand on the V. So V equals M over D. Now it's extremely important when using this mnemonic that you write the letters correctly in the circle. If you did them wrong, as you can guess, then all your equations will be wrong. To remember that M is on top and D and V are below, think of something like mountain over deep valley, where the mountain's higher than the deep valley. When using the density formula, make sure the units you use for the variables will combine or cancel to give the unit you need in your answer. In some cases, you might need to convert units before you put the given quantities into your equation. You'll see this and other examples in videos following this. Just make sure you're always conscious of the units you're using when doing any calculations in chemistry.